Faith Oluchi is a middle-aged woman and a mother. With the skyrocketing food inflation, Faith and her husband has been spending 70% of their income on only food. This explains the federal government's recent announcement of a 150-day waiver on levies, duties, value-added tax, and tariffs on selected food items. From 5% on grain sorghum, millet, and maize to 20% duty waiver on wheat and beans, and 30% waiver on hoxed brown rice. The idea is to bring relief to indigent Nigerians like Faith. Presently, I'm applicant. As you see me, I, I was just coming from FCDA in search of job. Ah, I, I, with this economy situation, I have children too. So I'm not finding it easy. It's a directive that Abubakar Dairo, a farmer says, will help reduce cost of food items and alleviate the hardship on lowerly placed Nigerians. When a lot of goods now come in to challenge our monopoly, we, we, we have, would have no option but also release these products and it will crash the prices of food in the market. I'm confident that not only the dining table but our refrigerators and everything will also be, they will be smiling too. For some time they have not been smiling. For the Nigerian Customs Service, there is a delicate balance to be struck. While it has a duty to support government food security initiatives, the integrity of Nigerians' borders and trade process must be maintained to prevent abuse of a policy which could hurt the long-term interests of Nigerian farmers and other stakeholders involved in producing these items. I think we have issued the guidelines and the guidelines are not from us. We are an agency that implements government fiscal policies. It is a, it's a guideline that is produced by the Federal Ministry of Finance. So ours is to implement. And while implementing, we need to explain to members of the public how you are going to benefit from this. It's based on quota. It's based on what the Ministry of Finance offers to us. That is what we implement. The policy has also caught the eye of analysts. But they worry that the federal government's strategy, which seeks to address the high cost of food items through the tax waivers could lead to revenue loss of about 188.37 billion naira if not properly managed. You should have backward integration. While we are doing this, we are also uh, planning to manufacture and be safe sustaining and close our border. Because the idea of closing the border in the first place is for our local farmers and our local manufacturers to be able to sell their goods and services. As Nigerians continue to expect the impact of the policy, on the dining tables, the economic experts are advocating improved investments in mechanized farming and incentives for farmers as long-term solutions to food shortfalls in the country.